हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम टू द एरियन ऑनलाइन लर्निंग क्लासेज ऑफ इंग्लिश आम मिज अनिता रावत टुडे इन दिस वीडियो आल बी डिस्कसिंग विद यू ऑल द लास्ट पोम फ्रॉम योर टेक्स बुक फ्लमिंगो आंट जेनिफर्स टाइगर्स बाई एड्रीन रिच डियर चिल्ड्रेन इफ आई आस्क यू टू गेस अबाउट द पोम बाई लुकिंग एट द टाइटिल आम श्योर मोस्ट ऑफ यू विल गेस that these are aunt jennifer's pet tigers but actually they aren't these are not her pet tigers but these are the tigers that she's embroidering on a piece of cloth and these tigers are symbolic of male dominance and male authority that we see around us in the society now let's have a brief description of the poet Adrian Rich was born in Baltimore, Maryland, USA. She is widely known for her involvement in contemporary women's movement as a poet and theorist. She has published 19 volumes of poetry, 3 collections of essays and other writings. A strong resistance to racism and militarism echoes through her work. The poem Aunt Jennifer's Tigers addresses the constraints of married life a woman experiences. So this poem is about the foundations and constraints of married life experienced by a a woman. Now let's begin the poem. Uh, first of all, uh, let's discuss the first stanza. Aunt Jennifer's Tigers prance across a screen, bright topaz denizens of a world of green. they do not fear the men beneath the tree they pace in sleek chivalric certainty all through in the first stanza the poet transfers the image of aunt jennifer's energetic tigers living in a rich green landscape see the first line aunt jennifer's tigers the poet calls them aunt jennifer's tigers because they are her creation her work of art as she is embroidering them on a tapestry and these tigers prance across a screen prance means jump so these tigers are in a jumping posture as you can see in the picture as well as if ready to attack the prancing tigers are a symbol of freedom and wild spirit which remains subdued within aunt jennifer means aunt jennifer wants to live this free life in reality but actually she can't so she is expressing her desire through her art now see the second line bright topaz denizens of a world of green topaz is a stone children which is golden brown in color so here the expression bright topaz refers to the color of tigers these tigers are golden brown in color and they are denizens of a world of green denizens means inhabitants and the expression a world of green refers to forest so these tigers are wild tigers and they live freely in the forest they do not fear the men beneath the tree this line tells us third characteristics of tigers that these tigers are fearless and they are not at all afraid of men the fourth line they pace in sleek chivalric certainty tells us the gait of tigers gait means the way they walk the way they move sleek means smoothly chivalric means courageously and certainty means full of confidence so how do these tigers move they move gracefully and elegantly and very boldly and they are brimming with confidence so the first stanza highlights the ferocity boldness and courage of the tigers and these tigers here are symbolic of male dominance and male authority that exists in the society now let's move to the next stanza aunt jennifer's fingers fluttering through her wool 
find even the ivory needle hard to pull the massive weight of uncle's wedding band sits heavily upon aunt jennifer's hand this stanza is so full of symbols in this stanza the poet presents a picture of aunt jennifer who seems to be a nervous wreck the oppression and constraints of married life have made her weak and terrified look at this line aunt jennifer's fingers fluttering through her wool when she is doing this needle work her fingers are fluttering means her fingers are trembling so trembling fingers it may be a sign of agitation as she is having great difficulty pulling her ivory needle while she embroiders these tigers you can imagine children ivory needle it's so light but she is finding it difficult even to pull out that uh, ivory needle when she is embroidering meaning to say that she has become so weak and nervous and she is always under a terror see the uh, third and the fourth line of the second stanza the massive weight of uncle's wedding band sits heavily upon aunt jennifer's hand the wedding ring here is symbolic of foundations of married life oppression of married life it is also a symbol of male authority and dominance children matrimony i mean marriage binds women physically as well as mentally likewise aunt jennifer feels burdened by the responsibilities oppression and authority of her husband so wedding band that is wedding ring can it be so heavy that she can't bear the weight actually it's symbolic here that these responsibilities and foundations of married life are too much for her to bear okay so see the question arises why is she making tigers which are so different from her nature see children fearless and ferocious tigers are in sharp contrast with the docile timid weak and nervous aunt jennifer these tigers are incredibly different from aunt jennifer who is so burdened by her marriage all the time actually she is creating an alternative world where she is living her dream of freedom as she can't live this free life in reality she is giving expression to her desire through her art and that is why she is making tigers there now let's see the third stanza when aunt is dead her terrified hands will lie is still ringed with ordeals she was mastered by and the tigers in the panel that she made will go on prancing proud and unafraid see the third stanza uh, in the last stanza the poet says that even after her death the ring will be round her finger see when aunt is dead her terrified hands will lie is still ringed with ordeals she was mastered by so she cannot forget the pains trials and tests of her married life even after her death and moreover her death is also symbolic here her death is symbolic of her complete submission and surrender to the suppression of her married life uh, you can see the poetic device transferred epithet here in the expression terrified hands what is transferred epithet children transferred epithet is a figure of speech in which the adjective is shifted from the noun it qualifies to the other noun like see the adjective is terrified so who is terrified here aunt jennifer is terrified but adjective has been shifted to hands terrified hands so this is good example of transferred epithet then there is one more poetic device and that poetic device is uh, pun and that you can see in the word ring that is used in the second line of the third stanza this poetic device is pun 
pun is a poetic device where one word conveys two or more than two meanings so here the first meaning of pun is wedding ring that permanently binds a husband and a wife into matrimony in aunt jennifer's case it has proved to be burdensome and restrictive uh, the second meaning of ringed in this stanza uh, is surrounded by or bound by and if you see this word ringed together with mastered it invokes the image of a circus ring where her husband is the master and she carries out his orders all the time and remains in constant fear so i hope you have understood this two lines of the third stanza when aunt is dead her terrified hands will lie still ringed with ordeal she was mastered by she was mastered by her husband she had very difficult experiences of life like ordeals and she is not going to forget them even after her death and see the last two lines the tigers in the panel that she made will go on prancing proud and unafraid means the tigers in the panel will remain the way they are jumping proud and unafraid here the poet wants to convey that a woman like aunt jennifer will meet her tragic death due to male chauvinism due to male dominance and gender oppression but the male authority in the society will remain unaffected the tigers will remain tigers right the poet wants to say that this male authority will continue in the society as an expression of freedom aunt jennifer's art will also survive even after her death but the society is not going to change male dominance is going to exist in the uh, society so i hope you have understood this poem children that it speaks about male chauvinism and male dominance so definitely as i always do after uh, you know discussing this poem also here is a message for you but before the message there are some symbols in the poem so let me discuss these symbols this poem is so full of symbols see tigers tigers are symbolic of wild spirit boldness and male chauvinism aunt jennifer she is a symbol of victim of gender oppression uncle's wedding band is a symbol of male authority and constraints of matrimony experienced by a woman and aunt jennifer's death is a symbol of her complete submission to oppression then there are some poetic devices let's revise them quickly first of all there are many images in the poem like bright topaz a fingers fluttering through her wool ringed with ordeals then there is a transferred epithet in the expression terrified hands uh, we have already discussed pun in the word ringed uh, there are many meanings like wedding ring circus ring and uh, one meaning is surrounded by ordeals and then there are some examples of alliteration repetition of the same sound in continuation like fingers fluttering prancing proud so these are the poetic devices in the poem and now here is my message to you let's eradicate gender bias and disparity from the society completely at least let's do our bit to remove gender bias from the society thank you